Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Many of you asked for a clear pen tool tutorial, so I decided to make a video, where I will teach some methods to better make lines and curves and trace any design you want, using the pen tool. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comment section. Have a nice watching. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators that have over 18,000 classes. Anyone can join the millions of members to learn cutting-edge skills, network with peers and discover new opportunities. You can take a class on any category you want. As a graphic designer you will find many great lessons on design. I learned a lot from many teachers there. For example there is a great course about grading logo designs with golden ratio, by George Bokhua. And for sure you will enjoy learning the secrets of shape, type and color, from the legendary Aaron Draplin. You can get a premium 3 months membership for only 99 cents, just go through the link in the description. Ok, I will start by explaining the basics of the pen tool so you can easily understand how to use it to trace complex shapes. First, we will start by straight lines. Position the pen tool, where you want the line to begin, and click to make an anchor point. Click again where you want the line to end. Continue clicking to make other anchor points, to extend the line. By holding shift, you can create perfect horizontal or vertical lines, or you can constrain the angle of the line to 45 degrees. When you continue clicking and return to the first anchor point you will see this little circle, and this is the sign of a closed path, and when you click you will get a closed line. And when you hover the pen tool on an anchor point, you will see this minus mark, which mean that when you click you will delete it. When you hover the pen tool on the line, you will see this plus mark, which mean, that you can add an anchor point by clicking. Now with the direct selection tool. You can reposition this anchor point, wherever you want. Now, we'll learn, how to make busier curves. Generally, to make a curve, place your first anchor point. Then click and hold, when the pen tool pointer changes to an arrowhead, drag to set the slope of the control handles. The length and slope of the handles determine the shape of the curve. To make a C-shaped curve, hold shift, then click and drag the handle to one side, I drag it to the left. Then position the pen tool under the first point, then click and drag the handle to the opposite side of the first time. If you give the handles the same length, you will get a perfect C-shaped curve. Now, to make an S-shaped curve, click and drag the handle to one side, then position the pen tool below the first point, then click and drag to the same side as the first time. To make a straight line followed by a curve, make your first point, then click to make the second point, and hold out and drag the handle up. Then make a third anchor point, and drag the handle to the opposite of the first one. Now. To make a curve followed by a straight line, click and drag the control handle up, 
Then click and drag the handle down, without releasing the mouse, hold Alt and bring back the pointer on top of the second point, and then make your third point. Let's do it again, click and drag the control handle up, then click and drag the handle down, without releasing the mouse, hold Alt and bring back the pointer on top of the second point, and then make your third point. Now we will make two curves connected by a corner. Click and drag the handle up, and then click to make the second anchor point and drag down the handle. If you release now, the curve will follow the handle and go down. The right way to do it, is to click and drag the handle down, and without releasing the mouse, hold Alt and flip the handle to the top. Now click and drag down the handle. Now we will use all what we learned before to make this rabbit logo outline. This is a straight line followed by a curve. And this is two curves connected by a corner, and this is a C-shaped curve, and this a reverse S-shaped curve, that means if you understand the basics that I explained in the beginning, you will easily trace complex shapes. So, one click here, then another one here to make a straight line. Hold Alt and drag the handle to the direction of the curve, click on the next anchor point and drag down, and without releasing the mouse, hold Alt and return to the last point and release. Click here to make a straight line, then hold Alt and drag the handle down to the direction of the curve and again here, click and drag down, and always following the direction of the curve. Click here and drag and hold Alt and redirect the handle to the direction of the curve. Then click here. And then click here and drag. Then hold Alt and flip the handle to the opposite side. Click here and hold Shift and click on the next anchor point to make a straight line. Click and drag to make this curve, and hold Alt and drag the control handle to be in the direction of the curve, and because it is an S-shaped curve, click and drag the handle to the same side of the last one, and of course we should make the handle in the same direction of the curve. Don't worry about the look now, we will tweak it later. Hold Alt and hover the pointer on the last anchor point. Then click and drag to make the curve. Hold Alt and drag back the handle, then click here to make a straight line. Hold Alt and drag, then click and drag to make the last curve. Now, to fix this curve, with the direct selection tool. Select this anchor point, and make the handle longer. Always remember that the length and slope of the handles, determine the shape of the curve. Now do the same thing to the other handle, then keep adjusting until you get your perfect curve. Use the direct selection tool to fix all the curves. You can get the rabbit outline file from the description so you can practice using this tutorial. Okay, this is perfect. This is a C-shaped curve, so, click here and drag out the handle and then click in the other anchor point, and drag to the opposite side, and then close the path. Select everything, and from the pathfinder, click on Unite. And this is pretty much our rabbit outline.
Now I will show you another method to make curves. Make your first anchor point, and then place a point in each tip of a curve, without dragging. Now select the anchor point tool, and click on each point and drag, to transform the corner into a curve. You can always change the place of an anchor point, by holding the spacebar, and moving the mouse. Do the same thing to all corners. You can always adjust the curves using the direct selection tool. And this is it. It is easy to learn how to use the pen tool. You need to know the basics that I've explained in the beginning, and then practice a lot to become a master. There is some advanced ways to use the pen tool that I will share in another video. This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Don't forget to visit the link in the description to get a premium 3 months membership of Skillshare for only 99 cents. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me anything in the comments section. See you in another video.